going everyone? It is Liam Carson here. Welcome to the final episode of season four for Once Upon a Time with uh, episode 22. Um, and yeah, I am excited to not just conclude the season. It's been really, really fantastic. And it has me very, very excited to see um, not just how we might set things up for season five by the end of this episode, but also um, to see what unfolds. Because, of course, last episode we um, were in this completely new world and it felt really, really weird. Um, even though I should be accustomed to, you know the whole alternative universe scenarios. It's my jam. It's my it's my playground, really. But it still feels weird, doesn't it? So, but it was really, really fascinating to explore. And um, overall, this season's been fascinating to go through. It's been really, really enjoyable. Um, the uh, Both arcs have been uh, pretty, pretty good. Although I do think I prefer the Frozen arc a lot more um, than this arc. I mean, I don't really have any gripes in regards to this arc but I feel like the um, Frozen arc has a, has been a lot more entertaining and a lot more, um, a lot a lot more, I guess, alluring for me. So, yeah, but um, it's just been a really, really neat season uh, all, all around. And, uh, yeah, I am excited to see how we will, I hope, um, get things back to normal because otherwise it's going to be a very, very interesting direction to start season five, right? So, yeah, but um, no, I am really excited to see how we do kind of undo Isaac work and uh, not just that though but uh, we saw a peak of Emma in the tower um, we know um, in regards to what's happening with Mer well with Snow White um, and how the t uh, how the turntables right so uh, especially with where Regina is at so yeah but um, it's going to be very interesting of course uh, this is um, Henry is pretty much key in this scenario so um, he is going to uh, be a very very fundamental force if things are going to be reverted back to normal so it will be very interesting to explore indeedy but uh, yeah why don't we get into this final episode of Once Upon a Time Season 4 I'm excited to see what shenanigans go down so with that said, let's go. I have to kill her. You've been sent here to try to corrupt me. You have already been corrupted. Before all of this, you were a villain. Maybe the worst one of all, which is why you- But now he wants to be a hero. To Leave him be. Story. Look, I can prove it to you. Well, actually- I know things. <laughs> the secret that you- Beat me and the Jolly Roger is yours. Or are you still a one-handed coward? <gasps> That's kind of like a callback, isn't it, to the whole Peter Pan and scenario. Well. I'm sorry, I can't help you. In the animation and films, of course. I have to help you. <laughs> you did what the frick? Oh, I'm here on official business for the Queen, delivering a dangerous prisoner from the kingdom of Kashyyyk. Are you kidding me, Kashyyyk? <laughs> but seriously, what about the droid attack on the Wookiees? The Wookiee prisoner gag. It always works. What? No. Hi. My name is... Mom? She knows. You... You remember? I know you'd find me. Oh, My heart! You should have gone the Game of Thrones route, where, you know, it just dies because of a pointless plot point. Let's go, Smoke. Where's your rum? I'm allergic, never touch this stuff. What? Of course you are. Can I ask you a question? I hope that doesn't get carried I'm over in the real world. Just now, why? It's complicated. Go to extreme lengths to succeed. And to do that. to show you how. Is she doing eeny meeny miny mo in her head? Sheesh! I'm starting to get jealous of the other me. Let's see what food Henry's He is so innocent, my heart! 
I can't. Oh, dearie me. I told you, my queen. The one-handed pirate was helping them. And the boy was with them as well. Tell us where the child is hiding. Hey, back off, dwarf! There, change your name to Stumpy. I know you. Holy... Whoa, Emma! You're... You can't beat them. If I can help return things to how they're meant to be, then what happens to me here won't matter, will it? You can't... Save your boy. H Hook! H oh! Hook! I'm a natural. Hey. <sighs> Can't believe he overpowered him, but I'm guessing what about you, you something to do with the other light. Shall I make quick work? No! I never did like pirate. No! Mom. I just watched the man I love die. What's she doing? I'm, I'm sorry, that's horrible. The worst part is that I never told him I loved him. I know, you just, you just said love. I was too scared. I'm too scared that... Somehow saying... That all who have yet. See, what do you say in a moment like this? Do you, Zelina, take Robin? She is a phony! <laughs> also, I object. Go! You have to stop that wedding! Ah! Oh! You would. Would you kill a kid? You will. Nah, you can't go the Anakin route. So sh <gasps> Shit! Shit! It's done. Robin? What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, no. I've got blood on my dress. Oh, poor you! Oh dearie! Too little, too late. Shut up! Yes! The new Eat that! Things. Return them to the way they were. Bring back Hook. Save Regina. I can't. I'm not the author anymore. I can't change. Henry? Whoa, kid, what the Yo! Hell? Looks What's like we found here? a new author. He's the next author. How freaking fitting! I, I can feel it. Hero Regina's sacrifice. Isaac's villainous work was undone. Everyone reappeared where they were before this whole mess started. No, you can't do this shit. No, I'm not accepting this. Yeah, sorry about the mess. I really needed to find that book, and I'm usually a bit tired. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you because you had me for a second. No! Oh. Oh. Say it. Want to thank you oh, for your sacrifice oh. and yourself. Henry and I would have succeeded without you. Of course, love. Well, no. Some of the days work for a hero. People like you who fancy themselves heroes pushing around people like me. It was my turn to win. And you went in a very, very, very crude direction. He became a villain. Because that's what villains do. They make themselves happy at the expense of others. Exactly. But it just makes them more unhappy. <gasps> Doesn't no have that much power. You know what? It would seem that this time we 
have found the right person for the job. Exactly. Henry has... I, I gotta commend... I, I gotta applaud him oh. for, for, for that decision. And that is more... It's more dangerous than... Oh, fuck. Oh, my goodness. I mean, we can't l surely lose Rumple for good. It's also the only clue I have as to who my father is. Yeah, I need to know. She doesn't know either. What? It's a dragon thing. You know, it happened in dragon form. What happened to dragon form stay? Stays a dragon. Stick around. Story broken look. Shorn of anger. Thornless danger. There forever. To remain. Holy dang. Holy dang. We need to get rid of that hat. There we go. A new start for Rumpel. Oh, sh oh, Emma! Emma! Too late? Oh, no. Destroy the darkness once and for all before it destroys everything. Where is he? Who is he? Yeah! He's far, far from here. Helps. Like his name is. Yo! No! You must stop. What? Darkness. We have to do what the sorcerer did. We have to tether it to a person to contain it. No, Emma. Emma, no! There has to be another way. There isn't. There isn't. You work too hard out here having to... Emma, you're not going to fulfill that potential. What the shit? What the shit? What the shit? Oh, don't tell me that dagger's gonna... No! Yo! What the hell? Well, season five should be fun. I mean, I didn't, like, especially as the episodes went on, I was starting to think, okay, well, we're not going to get a darker Emma. Um, we're on the cusp with how she reacted to um, her parents, but it's not going to happen. So yeah, I was wrong, and it's going to be a bigger deal. Also, Rumpel's getting a new start with that darkness just cleansed from him. Um. Oh my god, what the he- I mean, she said I love you to Killian, she saved Regina, I- Oh boy. Oh. Now I'm going to be excited to see how we go with season five because that was an ending. 
Um, everything was just thrown at us, with Emma now becoming the Dark One. Um, fate really stepped in there, because obviously we had that potential for darkness for Emma, um, being brought up in the uh, remaining bunch of episodes that we had. Um, and, um, yeah, now it's fulfilled. So, Destiny, am I right? It can be a complete biatch. Ugh. Um... But we had quite a bit of setup. Like I, I was not expecting this amount of uh, this much amount of setup for season five. To be fair, uh, with what we got, obviously we've got um, Henry um, and I guess his decision because he, you know, decided to snap that pen like, um, he, like snapping the Elder Wand, really, isn't it? So I'm um, just thinking back to to um, Deathly Hallows Part Two, and uh, yeah. Uh, there is this, you know, all powerful wand, and so, um, so I'm really, really intrigued to see if there's going to be any kind of, um, I don't know, second thoughts potentially. But you can see why Henry did that, and you know, I've got to commend him, um, with what he did. Like he did a really, really, um, um, neat decision in my opinion because Henry, he's pure, and um. He is, he has the heart of the truest believer, etc. And uh, um, I did think it was very, very fitting, of course, that he would be the author um, when he was assigned it. I mean, if there's going to be a candidate that is um, very, very super for Rob, it's going to be Henry. Um, with the journey that we've been on with uh, him, um, he is the perfect candidate to be the author, especially a one billion times better um, replacement to Isaac, who I hope is rotting away in his cell and we never see him again. And he can now reflect on how um, miserable his life can um, be now that he tried to uh, he tried to fabricate a happy life for him, but it was really his undoing. So um, he got pissy about the fact that people walked all over him and then he just became a worse person. So, um, but um, no, I thought it was very, very fitting, but I got to applaud the fact that he did that because he saw what the, um, he, he, he knew that responsibility c can corrupt. Um, though, I guess with Isaac, he was, of course, a bit of a, um, a, a an odd one out in regards, because there have been people who've just naturally passed, um, and they've done good at their jobs, but, you know, you can't write yourself to be immortal, and uh, um, there was that temptation for, uh, th there was that hope for Henry. I wouldn't say it was a temptation, because he, he uh, I mean, I think you can have that um chance to bring someone back but it would be very very um costly wouldn't it in terms of your reputation as the author to bring someone back because you're uh because it, it, it can be, like especially with resurrection it can be very very tricky um but it could also um lead you down a dark path and i think henry realized um with neil um it was a very, very tempting thing. But I, I, I don't really blame him for being very tempted, be, uh, especially with uh, the power that he had. I think a lot of us would be very, very tempted to, um, you know, kind of bend certain rules, etc. So I can't really blame him for feeling that bit of temptation, but I also can't blame him for snapping um, the pen. I know, like, with... Because um, I'm going back to the whole Harry Potter comparison. Um... That I I did remember seeing a lot of comments who um in regards to um when the elder wand was was snapped, um that that was really really um questionable, but I think with Henry I think he knows what it can do, and he doesn't want to go back he doesn't want to go down that road does he so, um especially with who he is and um I think that's gonna get reinforced with the fact that Emma. Um, has now turned to the dark side of the force. So, um, I, I just love it. Like, I keep saying that, and they bloody used a Star Wars reference as well, so, um... 
<laughs> it's just so funny as well with Killian saying it because obviously he's been so um, adapted to technology this season. <laughs> um, and now he's using Star Wars terms. So I was hoping that Emma, like, I mean, she wouldn't say it anyways because she remembered Henry, but uh, there was a part of me that was like, you're a little shot to be uh, a rescuer. So... Um, <laughs> just, just to top, uh, just to put the cherry on top of things. No, but, um, in, in my opinion, I, I think Henry did good. So, but like I said, there was quite a bit of setup. I'm, I'm surprised about the Merlin name drop. I, I mean, we've had a few, um, you know, Arthur centric, um, bits and pieces thrown around in Once Upon a Time here and there, but it seems like it's going to be a bigger focus. And I am psyched, especially with the fact um, that, um, I am currently delving, um, so much into the whole King Arthur lore, um, just to kind of familiarize myself in a sense and, um, try to get accuracy in certain, uh, bits and pieces because I am, um, having a bit of a, a situation where I'm incorporating, uh, King Arthur and whatnot into a personal project. Um, so... The timing is great, um, but um, no, I am really, really excited to see what they um, like what they do because, like I said, it, we've had little bits and pieces, but now it seems like we're going to get a bigger focus in terms of the whole King Arthur scenario. So um, I'm excited about that. So all well and good. Um, so yeah, but. Yeah, I I am really excited to see what's going to happen in um, season five with what we have in regards to setup, especially with Emma turning to the dark side um, and uh, Rumpel turning to the light. So, um, yeah, I'm assuming he's going to, um, you know, Rumpel's going to be absent for a few episodes and then he springs to life and he's all well and good. Um, and, you know, I feel like that's going to, uh, I think we've closed the book on, um, especially with how Rumpel has been associated to the Dark One since the start. I think we've closed the book on the dark side of Rumpel. And I feel like um, what we saw in the alternative universe is kind of a snippet of maybe what Rumpel is going to be like. Um, I feel like he might still, uh, still have some decisions that he will make that he might not feel comfortable with. But gone out of the days that he is um, no longer going to be a suitable partner for Belle, that he's going to be manipulative, all that jazz. Uh, this is a completely new Rumpel. And, um, you know, um, it, this is going to... It, it doesn't make... With the prospect of Belle and Rumpel being back together, it doesn't make me as... Because I did think about the fact that I don't want to see them again. Uh, like, I don't want any kind of um, lousy excuse for Belle to fall into Rumpel's arms again because I just couldn't, you know, accept it. But this is a way of, I feel like, um, having the, I guess, viewer be accepting of a Rumpel and Belle situation because his heart was covered in that darkness. He was the dark one, but now those days are gone. He is a completely regenerated person, I would say. Um, he is no longer the Rumpel that I would say we were associated with for these past um, four seasons. And like I said, it's going to be very, very interesting. And that's why I feel like we got a snippet of what he might be like. Um because it's not like he's going to be whammied in terms of memories. He's still going to know um, what happened, but he's going to have that more heroic, um, loving side to him. And he's going to um, be a more welcoming person. So it will be very, very interesting to see what they do in regards to Belle and Rumpel. Because like I said... I wasn't wanting them two back together, but that was before, of course, um, the whole um, expelling of the Dark One. I didn't think that was going to happen ever um, because it's been a staple to Rumpel. But now the game has changed and now Emma is the Dark One. And the same with how I'm excited to see with what's going to happen with good Rumpel, I guess. I'm going to be excited to see what's going to become of Dark Emma. And it's going to be very fascinating to see Jennifer's um, acting in terms of becoming a Dark like you even saw a little snippet of it when the darkness engulfed her like you you 
you like the mannerisms, the 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 appearance of the face. It was like, oh shit, she's uh, she. Yep, yep, she's dark. So it will be very, very exciting to see what's going to happen. And I'm assuming that's going to be like the first half of season five, episode nine or episode ten. We're going to expel the darkness, and yeah, we'll see what we do with that. So because Merlin is very, very fundamental, um, seemingly um, in dealing with the darkness. So I'm expecting, um, yeah, I'm expecting a Camelot and um, shit. Um, which is going to be really, really great. Problem is, I am close to finishing my um, <laughs> my little personal project that I did mention about in terms of um, involving the whole Camelot King Arthur situation. So, but I have been doing a bit of a uh, little bit of research and whatnot um, because you know I don't want to fluff it up. So yeah, um, but I guess um. You know, there like you can have. Uh, I don't know. I I guess you can. Um. Well, w with what I'm doing, I'm throwing you a little few curveballs there because, yeah, spoilers. <laughs> Anyways, I say spoilers as if my project is going to mean anything, but it's not. Um. Apart from me, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Um. <laughs> No, but it's going to be very, very interesting with Emma turning to the dark side. So, yeah. Um, but no, I really, really thought that it was a very, very neat conclusion. Loved how um, Mary, Margaret and David uh, just decided to pull up. Isaac tried to speed, uh, speed it out of there, but no. Um, they gave Isaac a little bit of a lesson in regards to how, um, you know, yeah, you got basically shat on but you became the villain and um you try to get your happy ending it di it didn't do you any favors so i really really loved how mary margaret and um and david um dealt with him so like i said rot in the prison don't care about you isaac so goodbye um <laughs> but yeah um I'm kind of sad that Will, um, not only was, like, I mean, with Bell and, um, Will, I, I had a feeling it was going to be a short-term thing anyway, so, yeah. But, overall, I am kind of disappointed in the utilisation of Will. Um, I'm not going to lie, because, obviously, with, um, in Wonderland, uh, I was, re like, if you saw my reactions, I think Will was my favourite character, um... And then he came, comes along in season four. Now, I have heard... Um, I think I saw someone comment about the fact that... Um, uh, that In Wonderland takes place after season four. Which is weird because I got... Rec I, I was told to react to it uh, after season three. So, um, it is... And, and with the way that he was introduced in episode three. It's like, remember this guy, etc. So, it is really, really weird in that regards. Um, there might be need to be a bit of clarification about that. But still, I feel like Will was pretty underutilized, in my opinion. And, um... You know, it, it does make me think if that if um what I just mentioned was the case, then I should have reacted to in Wonderland after series four because I think that really does add to the disappointment in regards to Will being under uh, underutilized, um because I was I was expecting okay we're gonna get a big chunk of him because he was a very very memorable character and uh, yeah. Um, not just that, though, but it seems like he, I think he was promoted to, um, I think he was given the regular um, credit treatment. And then he's just like there and nothing much was done for him. So I am disappointed in that regard. So, yeah. Um, and like I said, I really, really thought that he was a very fun, enjoyable and endearing character um, in the spinoff. So... To see him just be completely wasted, my opinion, yeah, it, it kind of rubs me the wrong way. So, because I don't think we're going to see him in a season five. Um, we might do, but still, overall in season four, just, yeah. So, yeah. Um, Emma, like, especially when Killian died, I was thinking that they're not going to kill off Hook in the alternative universe. Surely not. No. No. Um, although when he wasn't there, when things went back to normal, 
I was starting to worry, not gonna lie. So yeah, but uh, I really, really love how Emma was uh, thinking about the fact that she never got to say I love you to Killian um, and how there was that worry about it uh, being real. Um, And of course she had to say it when she was getting enveloped by the darkness. So yeah, my heart. So, but I gotta say the innocence of Hook in the alternative universe it was, it was, um, yeah, I, I just couldn't, my heart, oh, so I, I just really, really thought that Hook's innocence in the alternative universe was just too much, it was too much, um, but, uh, yeah, it was very, very interesting, because I was expecting him to have a meaner demeanor, meaner demeanor, um, but no, he was just, um, he was more, um, uh, frightened he was he was more um i guess uh, kind of like i was i was thinking it's interesting how he um is taken a, a a kind approach to henry and then we find out that he has this fear instilled in him and that he was following blackbeard gotta say the way he was taken out was just hilarious in my opinion because obviously hook was was a bit skitterish uh, in in uh, before we took off and rescued emma um and then Henry just knocks him out. So, Blackbeard. So, yeah, Blackbeard, everyone. But, um, no, I, um, yeah. With the, it is very, very funny that David, um, in the alternative universe, did stab Hook. Because, obviously, we know how Hook and David were at first. They were at each other's throats. And, of course, he had to kill Hook. So, yeah, but... I was not, I was making, I was, I was just thinking about the fact that, yeah, this was not going to happen. Um, but yeah, but it was a very, very interesting and fun conclusion to things. Um, it was very, very in, intense to see uh, Emma and Rumpel go at it with the swords. The fact that he was ready to kill Henry, potentially, and then Regina just saves him. My heart, Regina. Ah, um, but yeah, the fact that Rumpel um was ready to just go all Anakin Skywalker on Henry was like do you really want to go down this route hero because that's not a hero move my friend that is not a hero move I mean even if it is to ensure your happy uh your happiness killing um kids basically I know he's a teenager but still a kid yeah no 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 so oh man but i really really thought that this was great and season five appetizing i'm excited to get into that when i come back for my holiday so yeah but um overall um that was pretty pretty neat in terms of a conclusion for season four and you know i really really enjoyed things i feel like things could have been um you know fleshed out or executed a bit better but Personally, I thought that this was a nice solid end to season four and how it sets up for season five is just really, really neat. There's a lot of avenues um, that is already set up for season five. So I'm really excited. And obviously, when we come into the first episode for season five, uh, that uh, well, the first few episodes, I should say, um, there will be quite a few more pieces that will be set up, I imagine. So already season five looking quite tasty so yeah i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time toodles